So the first thing we need to do is have an approval of the agenda. So moved. Second. Okay, so we do need to add one thing to our agenda under, <clears throat> where am I gonna put it? I didn't think about this before. I'll put it there. Um, we're gonna put it, where should we put it, Jane? Um, the, um, no, um, the request for tuition. Oh, um, governance process, I guess. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to put it there. Okay. All what right. are we adding? We are adding a tuition well, request, or, yeah, it's a tuition request okay. appeal. And we're also going to add under governance process um, a V high delegate, right? Visbit V high. Right. Okay. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Okay. Um, <coughs> anything else you guys want to add? Nope. Okay. So all those in favor of the agenda as amended, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? I have orders if somebody could look at them before you go. Oh, sure. Um, and uh, so no abstention. abstentions, none? Okay, we have an agenda. <coughs> uh, the second thing is communications with parents, citizens, and staff. Um, Mr. Marole is here. Um, so if everybody just wants to introduce themselves so he knows who he's talking to. Pam, you want to start? Sure. Uh, Pam Fuller. I am, I guess, part of the Barstow board and RNSU, RNSU board. Um, new member, just started in March. So I ask a lot of questions and I'm just gathering information mostly. So that's what I do. I'm not familiar. Is he a? He is, um, <clears throat> he is a resident of Leicester. And um, he, he's here for the pre-K tuition appeal. Okay. So, so you, everybody else just want to say who you are? Too? No. Hi. I'm Chris oh, Gandon. Oh, I'm <laughs> with, uh, also with Barstow and a member of the Rutland Northeast Supervisory Union. And I'm Lori. We've spoken over uh, email. I'm Barbara Ebling. I'm a, a Brandon rep, or an at-large rep who lives in Brandon. So usually at this time we ask for comments from um, the public. Uh, so if there's anything you'd like to share with the board at this time, you're free to do so. Nope. Okay. Moving on. Board professional development. Uh, we don't have anything <laughs> under that. So we'll move on to the consent agenda. Um, I need a motion, please. So moved. I'll second. Okay. Yeah, well, that's the question. So, <clears throat> the, war the warrants are in the amount of $870,054.64. Okay. Okay, so um, there's no discussion with this. So, all those that approve the consent agenda signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Any abstentions? Our consent agenda has passed. Incidental information, superintendent's report. Uh, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. And I, I very much appreciate um, the support of the board and my administrative team for allowing me this once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, but I am back and um, things seem to be going well. I had thought that I would be bringing you your own 2.4 monitoring report to tonight's meeting, but as I was redoing them with the new information learned at the policy governance training for Barstow and Otter Valley, it seemed to make more sense in talking to Lori that that process be allowed to finish and then it comes here. So you have copies, I think, of their reports, but that is not the RNESU because your budget particular pieces would have different um, numbers. So you will be getting that. We'll be updating that for RNESU. It went 
well through Otter Valley has to go to the Barstow Board, and it's kind of a testing the, the format. Great. Um, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, because you've been gone for two weeks. Nothing happens while you're gone. Uh, we're doing Spotlight on RNESU next week, right? 23rd, Wednesday? Yeah, and that's, on, uh, the play. that's on the play, right? Okay. So make sure you watch the Spotlight because we'll be doing the play stuff. That'll be cool. Um, all right. So Global Ends Monitoring. We don't have any items for consideration under that or executive limitations or board management delegation. Wow, we're just blowing through this. Uh, governance process. So the first one is to set budget parameters, which is um, budget development assumptions. So we are getting into board budget time. So in your packet, actually, right before the work plan, after the superintendent's report, so it's pretty far down, um, we develop for you um, kind of a single sheet that looks at budget development, budget assumptions, with a couple of questions for you to tackle. What this sheet does is it pulls together the policy governance, what, what my limitations are um, already for you. So for example, you know, the assumptions are, based on your policies, that financial planning shall not deviate materially from your ends priorities, which means that, that or risk fiscal je jeopardy or fail to be derived from a multi-year plan. Um, so that I'll be bringing you a policy recommendation fitting within that. I cannot cause or allow assets to be unprotected. I cannot provide less for your needs during the year than is set forth in board policy. Um, I, have, I, I must, uh, I cannot allow cause or allow jeopardy to fiscal integrity or the public image, and I shall not change my own compensation or benefits um, outside of negotiations with you or create obligations over longer term. So that, that whole section really is kind of pulling out of the um, policies that you have passed, what my box is that I have to work with them. The big piece that you might want to think about um, at the next meeting, an executive set, let's see, okay, this is October already. At your November meeting, I will bring to you recommended assumptions around salary and benefit increases within the contractual arrangements. As you know, contracts are for paraeducators, bus drivers, and teachers are currently under negotiation. So that will be an executive session discussion <laughs> where what the recommendations are for you to set those parameters. Um, the health insurance is now going to be negotiated by the state, but has not yet been finalized. We have been notified by Visbit that, by VHI, that health insurance is going up by 12.9% next year. Very high now. Um, you will need to, we basically can't change, unless you negotiate, we can't change the terms that you have from January to June, but I'll probably be seeking you to confirm that they're staying the same, um, because the state's health insurance kicks in June 30th, and you currently have a plan that's in place until December 31st. So, you know, I, I anticipate bringing a recommendation that just says continue your current breakdown of, <coughs> of benefits until the June 30th state plan kicks in. You also will need to think about either tonight or next meeting um, how much you might want to put in the board budget for um, professional development. Uh, as we've started using Brown Dog Consulting this year, there is a cost to that. There was a cost to sending somebody to the conference last year and then bringing Susan Morganson in in September. There was a cost to that that was split among the three boards. And then there is, you know, when she comes back for the joint board retreat. I mean, so any of that kind of stuff, there's a cost. There's a much, much smaller cost for the use of the Vermont School Board Association consultant who will continue working with us um, as well. So all that to say that it's probably a good idea, and I'll bring you a recommendation on that based on kind of what's happening, that you want to make sure that your budget include some funds for board professional development. Um, so I'll have all of that for you next month. So this is just kind of laying the groundwork. And then in December at your budget, at your meeting, you'll need to finalize the 
RNA is smoothover because that is the foundation of what your member school districts need to build their budget over. So your timeline is in November we'll be bringing a lot of information. In December you'll finalize it. Okay. So at this point, we don't actually have to give you any kind of parameters. We're just really, this is a preliminary discussion about what you're going to do. Yeah, overview of the process. Okay. Okay. Anybody have any questions for Jean? Okay. So we'll move on to the superintendent evaluation discussion. So the question has become that since we have moved into policy governance, whether or not we will do the superintendent evaluation that we've done in the past, which Becky and Erica McLaughlin did last year, have done in the past few, four or five years, where we send out surveys to staff, um, board members, um, to ask about Gene's performance. And then you compile that information and come back with a report and an evaluation at that time. The question now is, is that because we are doing policy governance and Barstow has been doing it for two years now, you're in your third year, uh, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now the RNU, um, no, OVUU has started their first year of that. We're starting to get monitoring reports. The question is, is do we need a real superintendent's evaluation since the monitoring reports should be acting as our superintendent evaluation moving forward? Not you need a real one, they're both real. Well, that's true. Sorry, didn't mean real. Um, but anyway, so <laughs> do we need a real one now? Sorry. Uh, so the question is to you guys is to what's your pleasure? What do you think? Part of me wonders, I guess we could really do it now. Part of me wonders if we take the, not the it's kind of an extra step, but take all of the monitoring reports and at the end of the year make a like some kind of you know it doesn't have to be an evaluation but just like of the four monitoring report reports we have here's what we know so she you know Jean is fiscally responsible mm -hmm. or whatever that is um, I don't know and then make it as public or private as we usually do just for everyone, right? So <clears> the um, administration who doesn't get to see the reports like we do, unless, you know, they ask for it separately, it sort of has a... Are we set up to see all monitoring reports yet? May I yeah, on? sure. So under policy governance, that is how you do an evaluation, is as you get each monitoring report, you are accepting that report and it is evidence and the report itself says whether the superintendent is in compliance or not and that's your evidence and that you keep um, you keep a, a, a spreadsheet on that that says when it was was it turned in on time with the um, was the interpretation reasonable was it in compliance are there any other comments because sometimes things won't be in compliance but there are comments to make on that that kind of becomes that becomes not kind of that becomes your evaluation of the superintendent because that's what the superintendent is supposed to be um, evaluated on. You're right, however, that there is not administrative input into an evaluation at that point, which could come back around if you chose to do an external audit or a direct inspection that would include administrative points, so for example, treatment of um, parents and guardians is one of the monitoring reports that I have to provide to you. That might be something that you decide to survey principals about um, as a direct inspection. Another data point, for example, you, you might look, principals may not fully be aware um, because they have their jobs to do of whether or not we're living within the budget. They certainly will hear if we're not. But <laughs> other than that, they, that's not their first line that's my duty but they certainly would be much more aware of whether or not I'm treating students staff parents um, equitably whether or not you know communication supports are in place those kinds of things there might be places where you want to bring administrative um, viewpoint into that or even a random survey um, of teachers or looking at other data points and those would end up in your value in that monitoring report, which again would end up in the evaluation. If 
does take a lot of time to do that document that you <coughs> business I've seen if, if an administrator is applying for jobs at other places or an advancement uh, often they'll ask for your last three years of evaluations or something like that yeah I, I don't know what goes in the personnel file well the evaluation would be part of my personnel file um, the, I don't plan to ever leave well, good. Um, <laughs> um, excellent news I, I would not be worried about that okay. but but that document that Barstow has begun to compile would be what goes in that there. Would suffice. So at the time of your completion of the evaluation cycle, which is in January, mm -hmm. you would close out that document. It would go in the file. We would start a new document. I'm comfortable with the policy governance approach. Um, OK. How does everybody else feel? I think it covers all the points that you would cover in an evaluation that she explained and then you do a direct inspection if you have some other questions yeah I think that I like the fact that you're evaluating almost every month yes instead of yeah the things that you've already identified you're going to evaluate right. on mm -hmm. and a deeper right like a richer yeah. may I express a concern about both options um, I was going to express one too, but sure, go ahead. You. Okay, thank you. Yep. My concern about the policy governance model of evaluation this year is that only Barstow has been through a full set of monitoring reports. You, RNESU, has not even received your first one yet. You will in next so, meeting. So, so you don't have a year's worth of monitoring reports. You only have Barstow's experience. The concern I have about the survey model is even with three years of doing it, the percentage, the return rate, very low and <coughs> what increased the return rate last year was the fact that I basically did a reasonable interpretation of the survey um, giving evidence to board members before they filled out the survey right. happy to do that again and maybe it's one more year of that but those are the concerns I have with both models whatever you do I'm happy with um, I'll, I'll do whatever you'd like to do but so the um, sir, so the evaluation that we're doing currently that we will have done for February or January, um, that is for the previous year, correct? Mm -hmm. So the fact that it's based on the previous year, and like you said, our first monitoring report for OVUU, we just barely got for this current year. And it's, so I'm, I'm a little leery to do the policy governance model yes. this year next year i probably would would be okay with that and the other part of it is that you brought up the or someone brought up the idea about the fact that we always have staff and administration weigh in and the monitoring reports don't allow us uh, unless you actually survey them yourself or unless you choose to do a, a direct inspection kind of deal we don't get their um input so for this year I, I really think i'd like to do it the old way for one more year and then somehow do a hybrid next year where we we somehow get admin and staff and then the board itself would be the monitoring reports which would allow it gives us more as board members it gives us more responsibility to make sure that those monitoring reports are correct because those are what is going to drive your evaluation or that is your evaluation so, my two cents. So, do we need a motion to? I think so. Okay. I'll move that we do one more year of the previously used evaluation. That's fine. I just, uh, we'll have to give you somebody to help you do yeah. it. I think I had called my yes. I think you did, you actually. Yep. Okay. And then, and then revisit next year and sure. see how we want to do it next year. Um, you still need a second and a vote. Yeah. That's but true. In revisiting yes. next year, you might think ahead as we're planning 
the schedule for the monitoring reports, which of those you really want to make sure you get administrative voice into so that it's done True. throughout so you can do it. Can do yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Build it, it know, build it into that. Start is that yeah. treatment of, sure. Um, build it right into that monitoring right. report. Yep. Through That's a good idea. Re 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 require a her to put something out to her staff. Right. <laughs> or you might you might do that too. Right, that's what I'm saying. You can add that into the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's another line to the treatment right. of staff. Could even look at the evaluation questions that you mm -hmm. sent out in the past to administrators and see if there's something in that. I, I, I like, I like, I like, I like building right? it into that monitoring report. I think yeah. it would be mm -hmm. covered. Yeah. The, the difficulty with what you said is, first of all, what we discovered last year is it was not just the board who didn't understand what the, I what I do based on those evaluation questions mm -hmm. by DSBA, but the principals didn't either. <laughs> Plus, those questions that were designed by DSBA are not necessarily thoroughly aligned with the policies, the executive limitations you have provided the superintendent. So I think you could shift a survey, though, over to those particular policies. And Maybe if you two wanted to get together later this spring, I could help brainstorm how you could do that to get it, which ones to get administrative voice into. Can I second the motion and then mm -hmm. also? Yep. So what I was just thinking about was um, usually the most rich part of it <coughs> is the comments at the end. And I'm wondering, Jean, pipe in what you think about this along with the board is um, when we ask a question and it's either you know, like never or usually or sometimes or I don't know, I f I'm wondering, and I could be wrong, if it would be more helpful if it was a yes or no or I don't know instead of like right. well, sometimes like I don't, because I think you, you either know or you don't know if that's happening and that won't really change the, 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 right, part. like the graph is it's like yes or no, right? And that's mostly what the graph shows anyway. And it's the it's the comments that are more rich and more tell us more than what the rest of the stuff does. So that's just mm -hmm. something I'm sitting here thinking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have a um, motion and we have a second. So is there any other discussion regarding the proposal of how we do the superintendent evaluation at this time for this year and going forward. Hearing none, uh, we'll go ahead and take a vote. All those that approve the motion of doing the superintendent evaluation like we have in the past for this year and then um, coming up with something uh, different moving forward, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, abstaining. And you may wish okay. to attach since Barstow has a full year of monitoring um, reports, you may wish to attach their summary of that. I think they, they tried to do that last year. You had two or three reports under your belt, and you just kind of attached that to, okay. attach it to the ultimate um, evaluation. Evaluation. Oh, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. I think when Erica was putting it together with you, you added, added those from the Barstow end of it because we had evidence we had evaluation data yeah okay from that end of it okay so uh, let's see review and update annual RNESU work plan uh, we'll come back to that in a minute because I'd like to make sure we get these other two things um, I want to make sure we have time <coughs> to weigh in on mm -hmm. both of these so the first one I'm going to do because this should be quick is the Visbit VHI delegate for the annual um, meeting at Lake Maury, November 7th and 8th. Um, I am going to be at that meeting, so if you would like to, actually I'll make the motion that I designate myself to be that de uh, delegate. Volunteering. I'm volunteering, yes, since I will be there, um, <coughs> that I'll be the delegate for that if uh, there's no objections or unless someone else wants to go, that's I'm happy to do that. You're seconding my motion? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So any discussion? All those in favor of me being the Visbit uh, VHI delegate uh, for the Lake Maury thing on November 7th and 8th, please signify by saying aye. Aye. 
Aye. All those opposed? Abstaining? Okay. That one's done. So, um, today I received an email from Mr. I'm sorry, how do you say your last name? Moroli? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, requ uh, asking us to, um, he was looking for an appeal on the tuition uh, voucher that he had asked for um, previously. So, everybody should have a um, copy, yes, of his letter to me today. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to review it. Um, because it's an appeal and um, it's not required, and I sent this to you in an email, since it is an appeal, it is not required that we act on it since we already have acted on it. Um, but I will leave that to your discretion. So I want to give you a couple of minutes to review it. The other thing I was going to suggest, um, well, we'll talk about that. Review it first, and then we'll go from there. Yes. Well, that, right. Well, so I did mention um, today that if we, if you decided that you wanted to have a discussion about it, we would more than likely put it on next month's agenda um, so that we had more time because there is some questions that I have if we decide to have that discussion. Well, and I just always thought legally we couldn't discuss something that's not on the posted agenda because... Well, and I, I did mention that, that um, because it's, it's a last minute addition, uh, we probably would not act on it tonight. Um, but I would like you to read it first. So has everyone had a chance to review it? Okay, so um, my question, I guess, is what is your pleasure? I would need a, um, the ple my, so the question is, is do we have, do you want to have a discussion? And if you do, we'll put it on next month's agenda. Okay. Because I don't think there's much point in discussing something if we're not going to take action. Okay. And I don't think legally we can mm -hmm. since it's not on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't have any questions about the letter. I think I understand it. Um, the only thing I see new that I haven't, I don't remember seeing the other is about that we're willing to accept vouchers from out of boundary students. But I, I don't, that's something we haven't discussed in relation to this. Okay. Uh, 
not that not that it I don't know if it has a bearing on a previous decision or not. But. So so we can't ask questions? We're not gonna ask questions? Mm mm. Uh, if you would like to speak, you're more than welcome to speak now. But as far as asking questions, we're not going to have the discussion tonight. So okay. if you if he wants to entertain the board and 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 say something, that's absolutely fine. But we won't have any discussion. Okay. It's not really a policy that works right now if it's that rigid that it can't flex for situations like this. Okay. And it's a huge financial uh, strain on the family. Up $10,000 a year for two days a week of preschool. Just so okay. you know where I was responding to that, that the voucher is $3,000 a year for 10 hours a week. Just that you're talking the total cost. Okay, so is this something you would like to entertain at next month's meeting? Yes, no. So the so no. So either you say no, we're not going to entertain it, so that we're denying the appeal, or yes, we will have a discussion and we will table the discussion until next meeting. about it so it's like um, has people that have been on the board before have seen like seen issues like this before and is it is it worth our time to talk about it or is it not worth our time to talk about it? I guess that what it comes down to uh, so I don't I don't see a need to I think we had some discussion about it before and okay. I I think there's there's reasons somebody could look at it either way and we had to stay as a group impartial I'm comfortable with the decision okay uh, Becky uh, or Barbara I don't mean to put either one of you on the spot Now we can take a vote right now if you want. If someone wants to make a motion on the appeal to, we can yeah, do that and then. Trying to. I want to say something, but I feel like it'd be better if we have this time for a discussion about it versus just. Okay. I feel like what I want to say is, I don't know, that, that's how I feel. So I you'd like to add it to the... And I think I, I, I might not have been present, which is fine, because I'm okay with it either way, mm -hmm. but if something has somewhat changed and there's a room for more discussion, I'm okay with the option of discussing, not that that commits it to a change, so that sounds... So what I'm hearing is half and half. So this is what I would like to do. I would like to put it on next month's agenda. Um, and I would like you to, if you could, bring me information regarding the whiting um, enrollment uh, and wait list information regarding the wait lists that are there um, and our other preschool options as well, not just whiting. There, you know, I realize that there's child care only in whiting, but um, Neshby as well and even Lothrop so and then we will have this discussion at our November so our next meeting is November 20th nope we're this is RNESU so um, our next meeting is November 20th um, at 515 here at the library and at that time we'll have the discussion okay we, right there's nothing okay. we're set on that date yep yeah, nothing should change because um, 
Thanksgiving is the following week, mm, I think. That's right. That's where okay. we're going. Yep. I'm sorry. What was the date? November 20th. November 20th. Okay, Wednesday. Thank you. Okay. 515. I know I that Mr. Garrelly was concerned about... I have about, five. Um, if the board reverses its decision and approves the ballot voucher, that you're concerned about the time that goes by? I'm going to check with the business manager. I think that if the decision were overturned and, uh, and approved, I'm not sure that it needs to start then. I think it would be for the school year. So I'll just double check on that for you. I would hope it would be for the school year, yeah. honestly. So, okay. Okay. All right. And then let's see. Um, do we need to update our work plan? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Well, other than this. But I meant for as far as monitoring reports or anything else. Oh. Um. So we're March. Oh, you're getting two. <laughs> no, I don't think. <coughs> you're getting two. I think it'll be okay. Oh, yes, we are. <coughs> okay. And then we are putting on the. Okay. So. Yes. So we're gonna put. We're getting two point four and two point one next month. Right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then. Um, and that'll be our first. Mm-hmm. For our NSU. Okay. Uh, so executive session. Do you want to go? In? We don't need executive session. No, Okay, great. So um, please remember that our joint board ends retreat is Wednesday, November 13th, here in the library from 5 to 9. And then our next RNESU board meeting is Wednesday, November 20th, here at 515. Um, anything else to come before the board? Okay. Um, do you want to do a self evaluation? If you want to take a couple of minutes and um, fill out the board meeting self-evaluation on the back and hand it in to me before you leave, that would be great. I'll give you I mine. Oh, we can photocopy it. Well, then we can do it together. We'll do it together. So um, the question, the first one was, we provided strategic leadership by focusing on ends. Uh, fist of five, always, most of the time, some of the time, rarely, never. We focused right. on we focused on ends most of the meeting. Okay, everybody else feel that way. Okay. Um, we obtain and or consider um, ownership input. One, two, three, four, five. Five being the best. Community involvement. Community input. Yep. Tax dollars. Yep. I don't think we had a lot of discussion on that. There was a little bit about setting parameters. Okay. Setting budget parameters. So yeah, we did. All right. We encourage diversity of viewpoints. I think we always do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was pretty. Uh, we were proactive and future focused. No, we were future focused on the budget. And on the superintendent. Mm -hmm. That's true. All right, so we'll go with that. Wow, we're good. Uh, we limited our discussion to items that related to the board's governance job. Yeah. Yep, I think we did. And decisions were made collectively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. So our meeting, um, I need a motion to adjourn. So Second. Okay. All those in favor of adjourning at 655, signify aye. by saying aye. aye. 555, sorry. 